Now, so far, everything I've shown has been what's called static clip gain. What I haven't shown is the dynamic clip gain. And on top of everything we've seen so far, which is a pretty powerful new feature, we can also do away with the straight lines that you can see here and get into dynamic breakpoints. So I can grab down here and do all this sort of thing. Now, as you can see, the waveform also keeps up with this. All of a sudden, we're getting the same sort of power as we get in conventional automation. And all the while, as said, this is all happening at the waveform level before we get to that first insert. Now, once we're in a position like this, we can also edit using delta type values. That is to say, we can trim up and down now in this group. So you can see it's like a trim where the existing automation remains intact. So up and down we go that way. We can also use the freehand drawing tool here now to do the same sort of thing. We can use the other pencil tools here straight line so move back to this one do a straight line up through there and then some of the crazy ones like triangle in fact the only ones we can't use are the parabolic tool and the s-shaped tool these first five are all fine and will all work now on top of this there's options to convert clip gain into automation and vice versa standard automation can be turned into clip gain but a little disclaimer here being that this function only operates in Pro Tools HD software or standard Pro Tools software with the complete production toolkit add-on. So let's have a look at that. I'll blank at all these changes we've made here. And before I do anything, let's jump to the volume line here and see where it's at. And it's just flat, quite low, but flat. In fact, it's down at negative 14 dB. So we'll go back to our waveform here. And now in the automation box down here, there's extra options available to first convert volume automation to clip gain and convert clip gain to volume automation. And that's what we want to do this time. So we'll select that and the clip gain line will reset. So it's now gone back to zero. And if we switch over to now our volume line, which was a flat negative 14 before, it's taken on the attributes of the clip gain. And we can literally just send that back now by going back down to our automation here. And we'll convert this time volume automation back to clip gain. So it's now gone back to zero. So it's forgotten it's negative 14. So we would have to reset that. But now when we go back to the clip gain, there it is back again. Now cleverer than that, it can also coalesce. If you notice the other options down here, we can coalesce volume automation to clip gain and back the other way, clip gain to volume automation. And for those who don't know, I'll set up a little scenario where that would be useful. Let's reset all these here. Now that's waveform clip gain we're looking at, so I can't hit the delete key. I have to come here and clear the clip gain. We'll go into volume here and we'll take that down from its level there. And just to make it a bit more mathematically straightforward, let's put all these on negative 10. Okay, so we're at negative 10 dB there. And now let's go back into our waveform here. And this is currently at 0 dB at Unity. So I'll come in and I'm going to take this first one here and put him on plus 5. I'm using the command key on the Mac for that fine tuning there as I get closer. I'll put this one on negative 5. And we'll put this one, say, on plus 10. Doesn't really matter what we're doing to the audio itself. Just an example. And, oh, well, negative 10, just to be consistent. Okay, so we've got plus 5, minus 5, plus 10, negative 10. Now, I'll grab all those. So this is clip gain. If you remember back on our volume line, we're down at negative 10. So what we're hoping will happen here is this plus 5 will go onto the negative 10 at that point. So that section will jump up to negative 5 because we're adding 5 dB to what's already there. Minus 5 will take it down to minus 15 because it's now taking 5 away from the negative 10 that's already there. So you get the idea. It's actually adding on or subtracting from what's already there rather than just wiping it off and starting afresh. So we'll come down to automation and we will coalesce the clip gain to the volume automation. And now that's all gone back to zero, as you can see. But as we go into volume, there's the jumps. So this was negative 10, and we can see now it's negative 5. This one's negative 15, as we said. This one was plus 10 on top of the negative 10, so we're back to zero. And a minus 10 on top of the minus 10 that we had is minus 20. So great way to add on or subtract on top of what we've already got without wiping it out. 
and probably no need to demonstrate the other way because it's exactly the same thing in reverse. So that's to coalesce the volume automation back to the clip gain. But that gives us a whole heap more power in that section. So they're the advanced features of clip gain and I hope you find that useful in your productions.